hey, I'm just mixing up some Smectite slip to use on Solato Polychrome replicas. Today, real briefly, I wanna to talk to you about five fellow YouTubers who have channels that I think you should probably be following if you enjoy my channel. So these are people that are doing similar things that I think uh, are interesting to me. So on the same subject matter. The first of all is one that some of you probably know, Tony Soares. So Tony Soares, he lives over in Southern California. So, you know, adjacent state to me. And he does pottery the way prehistoric peoples did in his area hundreds of years ago. So he's doing a similar thing to me. And on his channel, he talks about uh, processing wild clay and uh, forming pots and firing. So a lot of similar subjects. If you haven't already checked out Tony Soares' channel, you should totally check that out. I'll put the link right over here. I also made a video last summer where I went to Tony's house. Uh, he made a pot. I filmed the whole thing, talked a little bit about how he got into pottery. You might find that interesting, too. I'll put the link to that down in the doobly-doo. The second channel I want to talk to you about is actually a student of mine, Wes. So Wes lives in Minnesota, and he started taking my workshops over Zoom last year. And then he's made a couple of trips out to the Southwest to collect clay, and he's got a small YouTube channel, and he's been producing some really great videos covering topics related to primitive pottery and prehistoric pottery replication. Uh, he attended the Kiln Conference this past summer, and he did a great video showing uh, what was going on at the Kiln Conference as well. And his channel is called Airstream Wanderings. Uh, like I said, uh, he's really done a good job of covering uh, some basics of primitive pottery. So I think you should check that out as well. The other channel I want to talk to you about is called Hunt's Dash History. So he doesn't cover pottery, he covers history. But his history covers a broad range. Everything from like World War II, like military history, back to prehistoric history. And he's over in New Mexico. So like Tony, another neighboring state to where I'm at here in Arizona. And he visits a lot of rock art sites. Now, rock art is just another form of art that these prehistoric people were making. Pottery is another. So I think it's interesting to watch him go out, uh, visit these rock art sites, talk about uh, what they were trying to convey in the images and that sort of thing. And you get a real good view of uh, the countryside around him over there in southern New Mexico. Beautiful country. So uh, check out Hunt's Dash History. The fourth channel I want to mention to you is Ancient Americas. Uh, now, this guy, he covers all over the Americas. There's stuff down in South America. There's stuff around the over on the East Coast, uh, down in Mexico. He's kind of all over, and he's done some that are related to here in the Southwest. The one in particular I liked of his was the one about the Holocom, which was really good. Now, his videos are more like documentaries. They're like 45 minutes long, really involved, uh, but they're very educational. And again, on a related subject, so he talks about a lot of the same things I'm talking about. He talks about uh, prehistoric peoples. He talks about pottery. He talks about trade routes. Um, he, so it's very similar, and, it, and he goes way in depth on some of these documentaries about these prehistoric people. So it really will help broaden your understanding of what was going on in America in prehistoric times. And the last, the fifth one I want to talk to you about is potted history. This is Graham Taylor and his daughter Sarah. They're over in England. Now that's a long way from here. Now they're making replicas of ancient pottery where they live over in England. And so, really fascinating. Similar to what I'm doing in that I'm making replicas of ancient pottery here in Arizona, but in some ways very different because this is more European-style pottery, Roman-style pottery, Anglo-Saxon pottery, that sort of thing. And England is where my ancestors came from, so how could I not be interested in the ancient pottery of some place where my ancestors came from, even though it is quite different from the ancient pottery here in Arizona? All right, I hope you go watch those channels and maybe subscribe to them. Thanks for watching.